Welcome back to P4. Today we are looking at repeated factors and this is unit 2.2. .2. So often when I want to split a single fraction up into multiple fractions there sometimes is a repeated factor in the denominator. For example this one. So in the bottom the x plus 3 here is squared and that will lead to a repeated factor. So when I'm splitting this up, I have a over x minus 5, b over x plus 3, and c over x plus 3 squared. And the reason for this is quite simple or straightforward in a way. If you think of, say, numbers, Imagine I had a fraction, something over 70. Well, that could have been a fraction where I had two fractions, where one was over 7 and one was over 10. And the lowest common denominator of these two fractions is 70. So it would make sense to make these two fractions over 70. And that's why I would have ended up with this fraction. But equally, I could have had a third fraction over 5. That's not so obvious in that 70, but that would fit in without affecting it. And this is part of 10, isn't it? It's 10 split up. And that's what's kind of happening here with this x plus 3 squared. The x plus 3 is a factor of x plus 3 squared. Okay, just like this 5 is a factor of the 10. So these three, for example, would all fit into there. Equally, I could have had a plus two. But that's just hopefully a, a little bit of a, an example with numbers that might make it a little bit more obvious as to, as to why. Okay, so it's important when you have anything that is raised to a power, that you split it up into the single one and the squared one. I mean, if it was a cube, you'd have a single, a squared and a cubed. So, take this question for you. Um, we want to split it up into fractions, into separate fractions. So, first thing I want to do is factorise that bottom. And looking at the bottom, I can take an x squared out. And that's leaving me with an x minus 1. So, what this means is now I've got a over x from the x squared. That will then give me b over x squared plus c over x minus 1. And it's these type of questions where people go wrong. They'll forget about the x and the x squared being separate. I've also sometimes seen them split this up and have an x, an x, and then the bracket, for example. Okay, so it's just about being careful. After that, though, it's quite straightforward. So if you remember how we kind of take small shortcuts previously, so this would have been a multiplied by x and x minus 1, b multiplied by x minus 1, and c multiplied by x squared. Again, if you're going to take the shortcuts like I just did, just be careful. Remember, this is technically over this one, and these would be over this as well. Now, what I want to do is start off with, say, let x equal 1. That gives me 5 minus 2 minus 1. And then, because of this bracket and this bracket... I'm going to get 0 plus 0 plus 1c. So 5 minus 2 is 3, minus 1 is 2, and then c on the left, uh, sorry, the right. Now, for my second one, I can substitute x equals 0 in. So looking at that, I get 0 minus 0 minus 1. I get 0 minus 1b plus 0. 
So we've got minus 1 equals minus b or b equals 1. Now for my third one, I can't, there is another number that will allow me to get a and get rid of b and c. So for this kind of thing then, I just either want to substitute in a easy to use number. I can compare coefficients, but it's not always that easy. Depends on the question. In this one, I could compare coefficients of x squared because I'll have an ax squared and a cx squared. And that should be equal to 5. So that's one way of doing it. But I'm just going to take an easy option of let x equal 2, for example. And then I've got 5 times 2 squared. So 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. And then that is going to equal... I've got 2a, and then I've got 1b plus 4c. And now it's just a matter of sorting this out. So on the left, I have 15. On the right, I've got the 2a I want to find, plus b is 1, and c is 2. So that gives me 9. So I'm taking 9 away. From 15 it gives me 6, therefore a is equal to 3. And then all I've got to do then is write the question back out with this part in it. And there we have the final answer. Now this isn't too difficult, so I'll give you a few to try, and as always, I'll go through the answers at the end of the video.